smarter all the time. See, that's the thing. He's not just an intelligent fighter. He's getting smarter all the time if you look at his fights. The thing about this is that I, I've explained to all of my athletes. If you go down to the zoo and you see the silverback gorilla in the cage, nobody's stronger than the silverback gorilla. But how come he's always in the cage and some little old guy in the front with the keys? Because <laughs> the little guy, the, old, the keys, is smarter. And the smarter man, we've seen power can win you things. In boxing, power is always one guy's things. But you've never seen anybody maintain with just power. It's never happened. When you see these guys like Bernard Hopkins, Bernard Hopkins is not even the biggest puncher to ever come out of Philadelphia. You see what I'm saying? But, but you see how long he's reigned. You see, when you see guys that have that kind of uh, discipline and that kind of intelligence, it carries. The strongest muscle in your body is that brain. And the guy that can use that can find a way to manipulate almost any other kind of person in the ring. Nazim, you, you're obviously, you're known, and I know you hate when I say this, the master strategist. I wish I knew when I bought something from <laughs> um, Is it a little bit different strategizing for a guy this big? Have you had to go look into your laboratory a little bit differently to get different things out to prepare for a guy this big? Tyson Fury is a very big man who can do, who has potential. He's already cashing in on his potential verbally, but, but he's really not able, he's not doing the things that he's claimed that he's capable of doing. You have to devise a game plan that's going to make his strengths work against him. And you have to devise a game plan where your athlete can exploit those strengths. I believe we have the athlete that can do that. You know, I believe that, he, he, that Steve Cunningham is capable of that. I don't take anything away from Tyson Fury. He's bigger. He must be stronger. He's, he's taller. He's younger. There's everything that points. And from what he tells me, we shouldn't even be, there should be no second round in this fight. <laughs> from the way Tyson Fury talks, I mean, and, and we'll find out if Tyson Fury is everything that he says he is. I told Steve, I think if he's everything that he says he is, we win. If he's not every single thing that he says he is, he may not even get out of the fight. But this is boxing. This is why we fight the fight, because we all have an opinion prior to the punches being thrown. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I respect the guy. I think, he's a, I think he's a threat. I think he's a serious threat. And to be honest with you, I can honestly say I've never seen Steve in the gym in a fight that wasn't a threat. Some of them were physical. A lot of them were political and geographical. So he's always been in a threat, whether he had to fight in somebody's backyard, he had to fight somebody who's the favorite guy, or he had to fight the bigger guy. This guy's never had, he's never had Bobby fall down a bad weekend. <laughs> he ain't never fought one of them dudes. They ain't never just gave, he never had that, keep you busy, take this guy, keep you busy. Jason Gavin was a doggone threat. So here's a guy that's all he's faced. This is all he knows is adversity. I'd be afraid if they gave him something soft. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>